Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Uh, today's question is from Beth and she asks, I've got these yellowish patches around my eyelids. Uh, my doctor said it's something called xanthelasma. I looked online and it's basically cholesterol deposits, correct? Um, what's the cause and how can I fix it? Because they look really ugly. Um, hi Beth, uh, yes, the correct medical term is called xanthelasma and it's basically cholesterol under your skin. And I'm very familiar with this topic because my aunt's husband used to get them. And in a minute, I'll show you um, how he permanently fixed it. Now, the good news is that uh, xanthelasma aren't physically harmful, but yet yeah, they don't look good either. Now, however, it's typically a sign that you are um, at higher risk for heart disease, a heart attack or stroke. And that's important to know. And this is because People who get these cholesterol deposits typically have high levels of cholesterol and an imbalance in your lipid levels. Now, these bad cholesterols cause a blockage in some oil glands underneath the skin and results in, you know, these hard little pimples, which cannot be squeezed. Additionally, um, elevated liver enzymes or liver disease can uh, cause an increase in cholesterol leading to uh, xanthelasma. Now, how do we fix it and how do we treat it? Um, unfortunately, these cholesterol deposits usually won't go away on their own and typically will grow over time. Now, one way to fix this is go to your doctor and have them removed with something topical medicine or laser or surgery. Unfortunately, you know, they can cause side effects uh, such as scars and uh, skin color changes. However, this doesn't prevent future growth or regrowth, especially due to your genetics and having high cholesterol levels. Now, I mentioned this because I stated earlier, my aunt's husband used to have xanthelasma, and even though we improved his diet, it initially didn't fix his problem. And taking cholesterol-lowering drugs actually made things even worse due to the liver stress and toxicity. Um, so what did work? Now, basically, you know, how we finally got rid of the xanthelasma um, was that before doing anything medical, I wanted to first see if we can decrease the size of these cholesterol deposits. This way, there will be less potential for scarring if we do anything medical. So the first thing I did was we made sure his diet was healthier all around. Um, I removed all alcohol because of the liver stress and reduced any processed foods and sugars. Um, now, he was already walking about two or three times a week, but I had him increase it to daily walks. Again, it was only about 15, 20 minutes, but some kind of exercise. Uh, I increased his water intake, again, to cleanse his body, which basically meant going from maybe only one glass a day, maybe one or two, to at least four or six cups daily. And finally, most importantly, I had him take really high dosages of specific herbs and vitamins to lower his cholesterol and the bad lipids, and more importantly, also help cleanse and detox his liver. Now, it, things didn't happen right away, right? But after about six months, the size of these deposits were about half the size, which is great. Um, but... Obviously, they never got much smaller after that. So that's when we, you know, he went to his dermatologist and got uh, used laser to remove what was left over. And since they were smaller, there was no scarring, which was great. And because of his cleaner diet and continued use of the supplements, his cholesterol is lower and it remained in a healthy range, which is great. And another important benefit is that his liver is healthier as well. And the best part is, that these cholesterol deposits have never come back and it's been over six years. So don't worry, there's definitely hope. Uh, anyhow, that's it for today. I, I hope this video was helpful and gave you more clarity. Uh, if you'd like more information about this topic or similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making uh, more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you'd like additional information about, you know, how you can quickly lower your cholesterol levels naturally while improving your lipid levels, again, without the use of harmful prescription drugs or following a restrictive diet, please visit the link in the description area below for additional information and helpful tips. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.